I'm so excited. Hey, what's going on, Charlie? Come on, Gene. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasking, Gene. Yes, thank you. A little Clyde Mays today, and a little MGP juice. Let's see, if, Mays. let's see if I can pour it for you today. Oh, well, look at that. I'm lifting yeah, things yeah. like a big boy. Look at you. Now that I know that you can do that. <laughs> so, Clyde Mays today, Gene, this is a uh, bourbon. This is bourbon is four to five years old. This okay. bourbon, Gene, is 55% warm. 30% rye, so it's a high rye. All right. 15% malted barley. Clyde May straight bourbon whiskey, non chill filter. It is a 92 proof, so it is a, what is 92? I'm drawing like 46 is the ABV, 92 is the proof. Um, from Clyde Mays, Gene. There's a lot going on on that. Uh, There's a label. lot going on. For whatever reason, it reminds me of maybe like a Johnny Cash or a John Mellencamp for some reason. Old timey, uh, yeah. Old timey. Clyde Mays makes a lot of different things too. I think we have a couple of their stuff. Yeah, we reviewed some stuff from Clyde Mays in the past. That he's even got some bling on here. Got a little bling. Says Mr. got Clyde Mays. 94 points from wine enthusiasts. I don't trust wine enthusiasts, so we're just gonna get rid of that. By gosh. The name's wine is in there. Maybe, I don't know, but this is bourbon. What you get on the nose, Ergene? Um, so when we uncorked Ooh. this, I got a lot of bourbon notes, but now I'm getting more rye notes than I am bourbon after we've opened it up a little bit. And by that, yeah. I mean, I'm getting a lot of spearmint and lime, or lemon. Um, My, but I still get a lot of corn and caramel. Yep. You My, get a little cor corn and caramel? My first note I'm was- I'm gonna let you talk. I appreciate that about you. Do you wanna you. talk? Nope. My first note was a uh, state fair corn on the cob with freshly melted movie theater butter on it. Okay. Ton of corn, rye there, rye spearmint, but a sweet rye. It's a sweet a lot rye. Lot of sugar on this one. Yeah, it's got a nice nose. You got a lovely nose, the bourbon nose, a much better nose, much more umami than when we first went into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go in. Have yourself a go in there, Miss Jean. I'm go in. I invite you to subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up if you like us. Thumbs down if you don't like me. Appreciate that about you. <laughs> this is a nice bourbon nose. I'm, I'm digging it. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Well, that just sinks right into your taste buds. My taste buds were just having their own little, yeah, whatever, we're gonna drink some whiskey. And then, they got a little wild. They did. Okay, first whiskey of the day. That's gonna have to be an acclimation sip, which I normally don't take, but that stung my palate. Wow. Like I said. 46 ABV stinging my palate. It just sinks into your taste. It buds. does. It oozes in like a bad marriage. I don't have any <laughs> idea about any of that. No. I got myself a great marriage. Got her, got her noter. Got her <laughs> it took noter. me a few times, but I got there. You're not supposed to drink what I'm drinking. Oh, well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll speed up my review here. Uh, still, second sip, I get an ABV sting at a 46 ABV. What's that about? I got a lot of cherry on my in my notes or in my tongue right now. I got I got a caramel. I got a cherry. Hmm. I like a really sweet, juicy cherry with red pepper. So, my, yeah, my first sip before the ABV went in, uh, I got a lot of cherries, like, just like you're saying, like a corn cherry, like you got a cream corn, but somebody put some, uh, I'll get ready to say some Dramamine in it. What in the world is Dramamine? That's a cold syrup, isn't it? Put some uh, grenadine in it. Mm. Um, what, the, what is Dramamine? I know that. For, it's for nauseousness. Is it? I believe. Okay, that's right, it is. We used to give it to the kids when they were yeah. little. That's right. Yeah. So don't put that in your corn. Don't put that in your corn. Grenadine. Okay. Grenadine is what I meant. We got a lot of grenadine in our bar. Um, the finish is really long. It's um, it's like a cereal. It's like a cereal with cherries, a little bit of chocolate, and some caramel. So um, when you say cereal, you're talking about the the, the malt cereal? The, yeah. So the malt like showing a, through for you? Yeah, yeah. But dry, you know, it's not covered in milk or nothing. Nothing like that. Okay. It's just a big spoonful of dry cereal. I think this is a solid bourbon. It's giving me all the bourbon notes. You got your corn, you got your caramel, um, you got your brown sugar. There's lots of sugars here, but for me, it's got a lovely finish. The finish is still going on. Um, finishes oak, finishes brown sugar, finishes a lot of bourbon notes. I don't, I'm, try, I'm struggling here to find a, a different descriptor. 
I think I kind of took a left turn when I said Dramamine and it threw my note articulation off. Do you need a Dramamine? Are you getting nauseous? <laughs> no. What water need for you, Jean? Um, water made this, I get a green apple now. I don't know oh. why I got a green apple, but it's a green apple. Wow, water has changed this. Maybe I, I put three drops in. Normally I don't. Maybe I need to go heavy with the water. I did a heavy, a heavy drop. For me, now I'm getting funnel cake. You might call it elephant ears like Gene does. I'm from Kansas. We call them funnel cakes here. Um, funnel Down cake with powdered sugar on it. I'm at, I'm at the state fair here, folks. Well, I got a caramel covered green apple. Caramel covered. Easy for you to say. I can't even say it. But caramel covered green apple. And I don't know about your state, but here in Kansas, the state fair is huge. It's a huge draw. Uh, I know some states don't have good state fairs, but we have an excellent state fair. Not to brag. So I like the nose better with water, but I liked the palate better neat. It softened everything up. It took away that little bit of pepper that I had. I don't know. I was expecting it to this, kind of come up with the peppers. This is a black pepper bomb now with water in it. You're missing out. Try that one. Try that one. Let me try yours. You try mine after you get your sip that you just took. Okay, now I got it. Okay, never mind. I'll take mine back it. then. I don't need it. Plus, you don't have very much left in yours. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I like this much better now. Um, I'm curious what the. I'm not, you know what? Let me start doing a thing. I'm curious. I'm curious to know what my my score was on the uncorking. Oh, um, I know. Um, yeah, but you tell us here after I give you my score. Here. The uh, it's kind of jumped up. Kind of jumped up. I'm thinking. Uh, this I actually may have scored it too low. This is an 88 for me. I could easily give it an 89. I'm right there with you. I okay. could have gone with an 89 yeah. as well. 94 by wine enthusiasts. It's not. Uh, oh no! You gave it an 88. On did the I? Board? Sure did. Then I'm gonna change mine to an 89 because this is better than a cork. <laughs> so 89 is my official score. Do you wanna know how much this little guy costs? Well, when you say it like that, Gene, I'm thinking you're gonna say like a buck 92. Wouldn't that just, be Just dumb. ruined it for you. Uh, I think that this juice, I would not hate it if you paid $72. I was gonna say 65. I would not be angry if you paid $65 for this. I probably bought it. 33. Absolutely worth $33. Good job, Clyde Mays. Yep. Now this was a MGB juice, but it was originally sourced was it Alabama. That's what you said. So they so they changed it. So good job, MGP Ross Squibb people. Well, it's probably still MGP juice because Ross Squibb's only been around for a year, so my hair's tickling me. It's getting too long. I need to get it cut. Who is tickling my woman? My hair. Well whip it back and forth. Oh, whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thanks for your subscription to the channel. I appreciate it. Anything left to add? Miss Jean. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm Charlie. I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Mm -mm. Open your hair. Yeah, yummy. I did. That's good stuff.